That's what makes the betrayal aspect of the whole thing is like, when you trust, and then trust, it's not even trust is betrayed, but a person, like, a mistake is a mistake. But betrayal is, uh, it's hard. Like, it's hard for me to sit in a barber chair and not say, take it in, and then still not feel, like, betrayed. Like, as black men, when we bond and we jail together, we take on the world, bro. We, we, we like, just taking on our problems. We taking on each other's problems. And it's like, you know, it's funny, it's how, like, it's a concept that's easy to understand. It's like, uh, like Avengers is big in the box office. The X-Men are huge. Justice League, all these, all these people are superheroes, bro. That's how I look at black men. I look at us as all, like, when we all come together, we are the Justice League. We are the Avengers. We got to put our cape on and do the impossible. And my wife is just like, shit, it's, a, it's an unstoppable force. And you think about my brothers, like, Fool and d -Lay. It's like we all come together to be like, as family. When somebody tries to violate that bond you create, it, it hurts a different way because it's like, you know what my kryptonite is. The average person don't know how to get to Superman. When superheroes collide, it's like, it's destruction everywhere. The city gets towed up. And that's just cosmetic damage. But emotionally, that's how I feel. It feels like war. It's like, bro, we're supposed to be using this towards building and keeping peace. But do not forget, I'm not from this planet. So when it's time and you got to put that cape on, or you got to put that, that Iron Man suit on and say, we got to go take care of business, oh, it's going to get handled because that's just who I am.